Hello everyone, I'm Jada Evans. I was coming to you guys today to tell you guys my story time. I've been being sexually harassed and stalked. I'm really getting, I'm kind of nervous about coming on here with it because I want to be harassed continuously still, but I really need you guys' help because the recent office where I stay act like they don't care about me or their other residents. Not only am I the only one complaining about Mike, who has been sexually harassing me. There's rats, there's roaches. There was crackheads in the building running around naked. Like how do y'all let people get in the building? This is student housing. The locks on the doors don't work. Okay, but let me stay on topic and tell y'all what happened. So, I've been being sexually harassed and stalked by the maintenance man named Mike twice. The first incident happened on December 4th, 2020. Um, he knocked on my door. He said he was here because it smelled like marijuana. Mind you, the whole building smells like marijuana, but that's not the point. He came into my apartment and he knocked on my door. I stated that I was naked. He still entered. Um... Then when he proceeds to come in, him and my boyfriend get into an argument because my boyfriend is trying to protect me, of course. So th he then proceeds to stand there and watch me get dressed, then make me and my boyfriend come downstairs. He banned my boyfriend from the premises. Then on January 5th, 2021, he came, he knocked on the door, he said he was here for maintenance. I never put in a maintenance request. Um, then I told, he knocked, he also knocked on the door this time, but then my boyfriend opened it and was telling him, oh, she's putting on some clothes right now. Just wait a second. He still proceeds to force his way into my door. He's pushing the door open and my boyfriend's on the other side of the door trying to push him out. I have proof of this. He broke, now the lock on my um, door is broke broken because he was forcing it was he was putting too much pressure on the door trying to force his way in so he came in i was naked he made us go downstairs of course because my boyfriend was trespassed but i my boyfriend is still here with me because i do not feel safe in my own home nobody will help me the then he lied about being the maintenance man he's not even a maintenance man he is a shuttle bus driver how does a shuttle bus driver have access to our apartments? I am really fearing for my life. I am going to be withholding my rent until he's either fired or I get justice. I'm tired of complaining, complaining, complaining. Nothing's being done about it. So now I'm bringing it here so maybe you guys can help me. I don't know what else needs to be done. I'm scared. I'm scared to walk around my building by myself. I can't even go to the computer lab and do my homework because I'm scared. And I'm just like, if my boyfriend wasn't here, who knows what would have happened to me. And obviously, the office people don't believe me now because he's still working here. It's January 26th. The first incident, I reported it December 4th after it happened. And he's still here. He, I seen him three days ago when someone stole my pizza and they got shot by someone he looked at me and was laughing he he and ha ha and thinking it was funny so i was just like okay now i have to take this into my own hands and get help i'm scared to be home they won't let me out my lease i just don't know what else to do can y'all please like share comment and subscribe thank you